Hi, this is Patrick, and today I'm going to show how to use navigation instruments in YS Flight. Today I'm going to show how to use these instruments that are on the um, heads up display or HUD on uh, YS Flight. So I'm recording the entire screen. Uh, first of all, you can change the color of the HUD using the number 9 on your keyboard and you can see you can make it dark blue you can make it white uh, sort of an orangish pinkish red color and then the, uh, the default is green uh, depending on what color the sky is and what you're looking at you may want it to uh, be a different color um, I often like to put it on white but um, for today I'll leave it on the, the uh, default color uh, first of all the navigation instruments use the navigation menu which you will activate using the letter L okay so you can see that um, when you push the letter L the first thing that comes up is station for nav 1 now this allows you to select either an ILS if you're preparing to land or a VOR uh, which would allow you to search for where you're going. Okay, I'm currently parked at PHNL, Honolulu International Airport. Let's say for a second that I'm wanting to go to uh, Molokai. It's number eight on the list here. Uh, you can push number nine and uh, get uh, more choices for uh, VOR. Um, they are listed in their range. Uh, push 9 again to go back to the start. You can see that the first one on the list is actually an ILS. So both the ILS and VOR will be together in the same list. But today I'm going to pick Molokai, which is an airport to the east of Oahu. Um, so I will select number 8 and now at the bottom center of the screen you will notice that Molokai Airport is uh, listed there that's the name of the VOR now you may ask how does that help well what you do is you move the needle to find the airport you can see that in the middle towards the bottom um, okay if you look at the center of the compass down below the word Molokai is a triangle pointing to the left now you will notice that the needle is pointed to the right towards north that means that uh, currently you you're needle is aimed away from the airport so to rotate that needle what you do is use the number seven which goes to the left or number right to rotate the needle clockwise to the right okay and see now the uh, the triangle is pointed the same direction as the needle and you see the line is starting to come to the center and you can see now the the needle is pointed almost east that means from my current position I need to point the airplane almost east to line the airplane up with that needle and the same thing works uh, with any VOR um, you'll line it up with the needle. Now, let's say we were going to use NAV2. Okay, and now you see station for NAV2. What does NAV2 do? Well, you can use it for VOR. And I will show you. I'm going to actually back the airplane away from the jetway. Okay, so I'm 
backing away from the jetway. Now I'm going to start turning the airplane. And as you can see, Nav2 doesn't really do much. I never use Nav2. I'm not an expert at how to use it. However, it does work really well to use Nav2 for ILS because just like um, how the needle works on Nav1, uh, the needle, you can see the little uh, line here, will eventually move over to the center when you're lined up with the runway. So Nav2 is uh, okay. Like I said, I'm not an expert with Nav2. I primarily only use Nav1. Now let's say I want to close the Nav2. All I have to do is push L to bring up that selection, station for Nav2, press 0, and it's gone, which is how I like it most of the time. So that is Nav1 and Nav2. Next on the list is the NDB station. NDB is uh, the little towers that you sometimes see, uh, especially in the stock maps, but I also use them in some of my maps. Um, they are a broadcasting tower that uh, allows you to pick up their directions and uh, point, point your airplane towards them. These are useful. They're very short range, especially compared to VOR uh, and VOR uh, DME. Uh, they are very short range, but they work. And uh, you can see when I select number one for a wheeler, um, it appears on the left side, Wheeler Army Airfield. You can see that according to the needle, um, I need to turn my airplane. I'm going to turn my brakes off, give it a little gas. And you can see as I turn the airplane, the needle is starting to go towards the top. Okay, so now the needle is pointed towards the top of my compass. Okay, I, I know it shows north. Uh, just ignore that. The most important thing is that it is showing that it is on a heading zero degrees off of my airplane's current heading. So in other words, if I fly straight, I will end up at Wheeler Army Airfield. Okay, now let's go back. Uh, say I select Dillingham Airfield, which is going to be a little further to the left. Okay, I just change my airplane's heading and fly straight towards it. And as long as I keep that needle straight up towards the, towards the north on that compass, I know that I'm flying straight towards Dillingham Airfield. So that's how to use the NDB station. It, like I said, it's useful for short range um, tracking, which is um, often used in real life. Um, it just shows you the general direction. It doesn't. Uh, there's no way to know how far it is, but you know if you see it pointed towards north uh, on that little compass that you're flying towards that NDB station. And the NDB station doesn't necessarily have to be an airfield. It can be used for general navigation. But in this case, these two NDB stations were at uh, a couple of airports. So, I've shown NAV1, NAV2, and NDB. 
The final part of the navigation instrument system is the heading bug. So going back to the center compass um, on the bottom center of the screen, you'll see above the N on north, there is a heading bug. So what that does is it points to the direction you select and when you use the autopilot, I'll go to the autopilot, you can see number five on the autopilot menu is fly heading bug. So what that means is whatever direction that heading bug is pointed, the airplane will fly in that direction. Okay, so I'm going to escape to cancel the autopilot. To change the heading bug direction, you use the number 7 to go counterclockwise to the left, or the number 8 to go clockwise to the right. And whatever direction you set that, it will fly you in that direction. Okay, so I now have it set to fly me directly to the east. I'm going to change the direction of the airplane. Now I'm on the ground. What do you think is going to happen? I don't know. I've never tried this. I'm going to select fly heading bug. Now let's say I change my mind and decide I want to go towards there. Oh, oh, it's not going to let me because guess what? I'm on the ground. So this was completely useless, right? Well, let's see what happens. The airplane is taking off now. I highly recommend that you do not attempt this in the game. Uh, especially if you're on a stock map that does not allow you to uh, cross, the, uh, cross the land like that. So, again, fly heading bug. And let's see what what's it doing it's changing my direction oh it's gone crazy oh but what's it's changing direction again let me uh, what's going oh it's slowing down that's interesting oh look at that look at that it has lined me up with the direction bug So autopilot is uh, controlling the airplane. Now what I usually do when I want to change the direction of the heading bug is I will go into straight and level autopilot. Then I will change the heading bug. So let's say I want to change to, I want to fly at a heading of 150. I'm setting it to uh, 150 degrees on the compass. Uh, which is um, symbolized by the number 15. Now I will reactivate fly heading bug in the autopilot, which is just in time because I was headed straight for a ho uh, hotel uh, by the beach there in Honolulu. They would not have enjoyed it if I had flown into that. So um, we just changed directions. Uh, just so you know what happens if. Uh, you don't go into straight and level autopilot and you change directions on the heading bug while the uh, while the autopilot is flying to the auto uh, to the heading bug you can see it automatically just starts and if you keep moving it it'll keep following you but what happens when you mess up and you're trying to you're trying to get it and then the autopilot has trouble keeping up with you sometimes but there we go okay so that is how to fly with a heading bug now you can see that we're getting a little bit off course for Molokai right well first of all I'm going to change my heading bug towards the last time I had updated the needle on nav 1 which is towards the east uh, you can see uh, 
there is an a, um, area, um, air carrier up ahead. I think I'm flying low enough that that won't be a problem. Okay, so now we're going to press the letter L and go back to Nav 1. Um, you do not have to reselect Molokai Airport because it's still selected. So just press Escape. You're still in Navigation 1 mode. Now you can use the number 7 to slowly move the needle, then maybe a little bit of 8 to realign the needle. Now go back with the letter L, back to Heading, Bug, press Escape again. You don't need to stay, keep that menu open. Now use the number 7 to align the Heading Bug with the uh, Nav 1 needle. And now guess what you're doing? You are flying straight towards Molokai Airport using both Nav 1 to uh, line up the needle to show you what direction to fly and you're using the heading bug to keep autopilot flying in that direction okay so that was the craziest takeoff uh, you should never do that if you're trying to be realistic at all uh, I only did that because it was easier than uh, restarting the entire thing and taking off getting into the air just to show you how to use these instruments but hopefully this video has helped you out with how to use those instruments um, eventually this airplane will get to Molokai as long as there's not a mountain uh, between me and that airport which I think there is so there's a good chance that I'm going to crash uh, before I get there but that's okay because this was for demonstration purposes only do not attempt in a real aircraft. None of this applicable in any way to real world flying. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.